All right, guys, so I'm out at the ranch again. Brought my wagon this time again. My new sand sifter. We'll see if we, that'll help us any. Got things pretty much set up. Gonna start, there's a spot where I'm getting a decent signal. Let me show you where I'm at and what I'm doing. Right in here, I've been digging. This is where I dug up the marbles and everything. So I got a good signal over here in the 80s on the AT Pro. So I'm gonna start digging right there. I'm gonna sift some of the sand, see if I knew there were some bottles in there last time. So we got all those bricks out last time. So we'll sift around, see if we can find any more of the bottles, any more whatever. So here we go. Let's see how the sifter works. Bunch of charcoal. So the sifter actually spread out that glass. That looks like it might be part of a bowl or something. It's got a little bit of design on it. Yellowish color. That looks like just a little piece of metal. Um, get lots of charcoal bits out of it. Shovel full. A short little period of time, pulled up all that stuff. A little bit of metal, some nails, a bunch of glass. Most of this looks like a window pane. It's all flat, that one's not. That's probably kitchenware or something. Little design right there. So cool. That work? Right. Peter's high velocity, number 12 out of that hole. In addition, we found a big old jug of wine piece of glass. So we'll haul that out of here too. All right guys, digging and sifting. Pocket knife. Sweet. I think that's my first pocket knife, so gotta be liking that. The sifter that time. A little green piece of pottery. Kind of pretty with flex in it. And we got a square nail. Definitely shows some age. Sweet. GMC coat. 
think it's a nitro club number 12. Cool, we'll take that. Got a bullet. Cropper jacketed. Pretty modern. We'll take it. All right, got us a cartridge. About six to eight inches down. Take a look at that closer when we get home. Just a 22 cartridge. Nothing big. It's all right, we'll take it. A couple inches down. We got us some glass, a bottle top. Don't know what these little other pieces are of metal, but not too bad. Don't know if you can see that. I think we got a little piece of glass there. I'm gonna see if I can get it out. Might be intact, but I'm not sure. Dig around it with my finger a little bit. Cool color. That looks like it's complete. <gasps> I got it. Oh. Look at that beauty. Let me clean that up for just a second. That's a pretty little find. I like that. It's all intact. Beautiful little bottle, probably a medicine bottle. Something like that. Like it, sweet. All right, we just got us another one. Kind of a smaller, thicker bottle. It says Pond's on the back. I'm guessing that's Pond's cold cream. Nice looking piece though. Let's keep looking. All right guys, not a bad day out. I forgot to record this earlier, so you're getting a late feed on this. We did find a lot of garbage, nails, bolts, sand of course, piece of brick, some steel. We did find the vape, the vape cartridge. That was kind of in on the trail that people use. Um, lots of glass. Ended up finding three small bottles, two of them broken. Two of them have lids, one of them does not. We'll keep a hold of those. See if we can't put them together later. A couple little pieces of amber glass. Some good cork style tops. Um, two big jugs of wine. It's kind of obvious they say wine on the bottom. Um, two complete pieces of glass. The white milky one, this one, is older. Well, it's all older. But this one's either a Pond's Cold Cream or a Pond's Vanishing Cream. They were sold in... They were kind of sold together. One for night and one for day. Um, this one, based off of the shape and design, these are harder to age. But I'm guessing somewhere between 1925 and 1935, this was a new packaging designed for Pond's in 1925 um, we did get a bottle still has the cap on it this one's kind of cool because whatever was in it isn't there but I don't have a lot of dirt in it I'm not gonna pull that cap off it's this one was made by the um, I think this one was yeah this one was Ohio Illinois glass company produced at plant seven which is Alton Illinois and mold number mold number seven for that year. I found mold number seven on other ones that are different, but it just depends on the year code as well. Year code one, which makes it 1930s, probably 1931, but I'm really not sure how those codes work yet. Uh, metal finds, we found an old Ever Ready flashlight switch piece of the bulb don't know what this piece was it looks like it's got a red coating on it 
and a flat surface on one edge, maybe some electrical piece. We did find this nice old knife. No blades left in it. They've just kind of deteriorated, but that's to be expected when something's in the ground for a hundred years. A couple of pieces of the old wood stove, probably a door. This one was featured in one of the recent What Is It series. Um, I do believe that this is the bottom vent for the stove. Found some bullets. Um, 22. That's. I can't remember what this one was. 222 Remington, I think. So it's a little bit more unusual. It's not around, you usually see. Um, 9mm bullet. This was a ground drop. Wasn't even swinging the detector. 9x19, which is a 9mm Luger. It's actually stamped 9x19, which I hadn't seen that before, so that's kind of cool. Two head stamps. We got ourselves a Peter's number 12 high velocity. Good portion of the brass is still on that one. And good old Union Metallic Cartridge Company, UMC. This one's a Nitro Club number 12. It is an older one, so anything that's Union Metallic Cartridge Company and doesn't have Remington on it is going to show some age right off the bat. So overall, oh, and we did find... Our first square nail out there at first I thought it might be a horseshoe nail but looking at the length somebody might have to correct me on that but I don't think horseshoe nails are usually that long so that was not a bad find at all so good day out have fun get out there and swamp it